demonstration, we're going to cover how to set up the MYOB account right integration. From the dashboard, head over to the settings. Select the integrations option and then select the relevant accounting system, in this case, account right. You'll then need to log into MyOB, enter your credentials, and you'll then be taken back to Tradeify to enter some more information. You'll then be prompted to enter your user ID and password. In almost all cases, this will be administrator with no password. From here, you'll need to enter some basic integration options regarding your integration with MyOp. Firstly, an invoice layout. We recommend service as this allows your invoices and bills to be sent over to MyOp faster. You can then select a sales of labor, sales of materials, bank account, and purchases account. You can clarify these with your bookkeeper or accountant to see the relevant account codes you should use for these specific accounts. In most cases, your income accounts will fall into the four range. You'll then need to select a bank account, as well as your purchases account, which is likely in the six range. You'll then need to set up some basic integration options. You can use the MyOb numbering sequence. This allows you to generate invoices in Tradeify that use the next number in your MyOb numbering sequence. You can also send your invoice description to MyOb. This means that the invoice description in Tradeify is sent to MyOp and creates a line item on the invoice in MyOp with the relevant description. You also have the option to use the job address for the invoice shipped to. This allows the job address to populate on the MyOp invoice with the relevant information for the ship to address. The final option is to synchronize your items. This is especially helpful if you want to use inventory tracking or send the individual item codes for that item over to MyOb. Hit save. And you're all done. You can now start sending your invoices and bills over to MyOb.